Okay, so now we're going to do another example of solving a differential equation, except this one is not going to be uh, able to be solved using the uh, techniques that we've discussed so far. Um, so we're going to use power series to solve this one. Okay, so we're given initial value problem. So this is the uh, differential equation. Okay, and uh, we're given the initial values here, y of 0 equals a, and y prime of 0 equals b, and we're going to use um, power series to solve this. Okay, so again, we're looking for a power series, so we're looking for something that will satisfy y equals the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of c sub n, x to the n, so again, it's going to look like this, c0 plus c1x, plus c sub 2x squared, plus c sub 3x cubed, plus c sub 4x to the fourth, and so on. Okay, now, here's where we're going to, again, take the derivative term by term, and again, we're going to take two derivatives this time, because we've got second derivative here, so we've got to get to the second derivative, so we're going to do uh, y prime, <coughs> excuse me, so y prime is going to equal, again, c1 plus 2c2x plus 3, <coughs> excuse me, c sub 3x squared plus 4c sub 4x cubed, and so on. And then the second uh, derivative, oops, will equal <coughs> 2 c2 plus 3 times 2 c3x plus 4 times 3 c4 x squared and so on. So all I did was just take the second derivative term by term. Now if, so if this is true, then that would mean that if y satisfies the equation, y double prime equals to xy, right? Then we can set these equal to each other. So we've got the second derivative, and we have y. So now what we're going to do is, this means that 2 c sub 2 plus 3 times 2 c sub 3 x plus 4 times 3 c sub 4 x squared plus, and so on, is equal to x times y which is this. So that's going to be c sub 0 plus c1x plus c sub 2x squared plus c sub 3x cubed plus and so on. Okay? So that those must be equal. And then again, using the uniqueness of the power series, right? Uh, for series representations, we know that the coefficients of the same degree must be equal, okay? So now, I'm going to erase this and just remember the initial values. So based on this, we know that what? Well, this we're going to distribute. So what happens when we distribute the x? We get 2c2 plus 3 times 2c3x, just x, okay, plus 4 times 3c4x squared. Uh, you know what? Let me rewrite this. 
give myself some more room. Um, so this is going to be 2C2 plus 3 times 2C3X plus 4 times 3C4X sub four X squared plus um, 5 times 4 um, C to the C sub 5 X. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I don't need that one. So I'm gonna just dot 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 is equal to, now I'm gonna just distribute the X. So this is gonna be C O X plus C1 X squared plus C2 X cubed plus, and so on. Okay, so now, so coefficients of the same degree must be equal. Okay. So, that means that this one, <clears throat> oh, sorry, this one, there's no x term, so this is the constant, there's no constant term over here, so that means this one has to be equal to zero. So that means 2c sub 2 equals zero. Um, three times two C sub three must equal C sub zero. And then four times three C sub four equals C1. Right? And of course I can keep going. 5 times 4 C sub 5 is going to equal C2 and so on. Now, more generally, for n greater than or equal to 3, what do we get? Well, for, for greater than or equal to 3, for n greater than or equal to 3, what do we have? We have n factorial, right? So we get n, oh no, no, I'm sorry. Um, it's going to be n times n minus 1 times c sub n is equal to c sub n minus 3. So, in fact, all coefficients can be written in terms of c0 and C1. Okay? And, and to see this, um, consider looking at C2. C2 is zero. Right? This implies that C2 is equal to zero. And then look what happens. Well, C2 
C3 equals C sub 0 over 3 times 2. C4 equals C sub 1 over 4 times 3. C sub 5 equals C sub 2 over 5 times 4. Right? Now, notice if we keep this going on, C6 equals uh, C sub 3 over um, 6 times 5, and then C sub 7 equals C4, oh, C sub 4 over 7 times 6. Okay, now notice what's happening here. Um, <clears throat> C2 is equal to 0. So this is equal to 0 over 5 times 4, which equals 0. C3 is equal to C0 over this. So this is actually going to equal C sub 0 over what? Um, 6 times 5 uh, times 3 times 2. Right? And then C sub 7, well, what's C sub 4? Well, C sub 4 is this. So this is just going to equal C sub 1 over uh, 7 times 6. So let me erase this. So this is going to be 7 times 6 times, oh, where is it? C4, C1, uh, 4 times 3. So look what's happening here. C0, C1, C0, C1. This C5 is just 0. So we're getting 0, then C0, so then C1, and then another 0. And so you see this, this pattern here. So that means, what, what can we do? We can then use this to tell us how to write the coefficients. Now that we know the coefficients, well, guess what? Um, <clears throat> we can write it as this. So now, oh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, okay, let me, let me write it up here. So I'm going to get rid of this. So we're done with that. And so now these are what the coefficients are going to be. And so now let's write y is equal to, again, uh, c0 plus c1x plus c2x squared plus c3x cubed plus c4x to the fourth plus c5x to the fifth, and so on. Okay, so now... C0 and C1, <clears throat> okay, C0 and C1, now using the substitutions, I'm going to uh, so this C0, C1, C sub 2 is 0, right? So I'm just going to plug in. So this is 0 times. And then C3 is this one. So this is going to be C0 over 
3 times 2. And then this is C1, so C4 is just C1 over 4 times 3. And then C5 is 0. And so all I'm doing is just taking these and substituting into my coefficients, right? And now, okay, now, now we can start using the initial values to figure out what C1 uh, or C0 and C1 are. Right? That's all we need to figure out. So now let's use the initial values. We know that y of 0 is a, right? So we know y of 0 is a, and y prime of 0 is b. Well, if y of 0 is a, well, guess what? c0 is equal to a, right? So this is going to give us the value of a. Now, y prime, well, let's do this. Let's do y prime. So y prime equals um, c1. Plus two times zero times x plus three times c sub zero over three times two x squared plus four times c one over four times three plus and then we get five times zero x to the fourth. And so on. Well, y of 0 equals a, right? And y prime of 0 equals b, which means what? That is telling us that, so this gives us that c0 is equal to a, and this gives us that c1 is equal to b. So now, what do we get? With that, we get y equals a plus bx. Well, this is just 0. So then we get plus a over 3 times 2x cubed plus b over 4 times 3 x to the 4th plus, and then of course it's going to go a over, um, oh now, now this is where it becomes, so 4, uh, four 3, Uh, this is going to be 6, 5, 3, 2, right? x to the 6, and then plus b over 7 times 6 times 4 times 3, x to the 7th, and then it just keeps going on and on like that. Okay, so now, I believe that takes us to the end, and so now what happens is, um, we've got A here, A here, A here, and then every other one is b, b, b. So now because this is all addition, we can use commutative property, obviously, and we can rearrange the terms and factor out the common factor. So let's mix this up and factor out the a's. So this is going to give us a times the quantity 1 plus um, 
x cubed over 3 times 2 plus x to the 6th over 6 times 5 times 3 times 2 plus, um, so in this case it's going to go, let's see, so it's going to go x to the 3rd, 1, So x to the ninth. So the next one will be x to the ninth over, well, it'll be 9 times uh, 8 times 6 times 5 times 3 times 2. Or no, no, I'm sorry. Is that right? Hold on. Yes. Uh, hold on a second. No, no, no. That is right. So it's going to be 6, 5, 3 times 2. Okay, see, see the pattern here? Okay, and then plus, and it keeps going. And then the second part, oh, you know what? Let me do it up here. Let me write out the final. I need more room. So the final answer is going to end up being a times 1 plus x cubed over 3 times 2 plus x to the 6th over um, 6 times 5 times 3 times 2 plus x to the 9th over 9 times 8 times 6 times 5 times 3 times 2, and so on. And then plus b times, now when we factor out the b's, we get x plus, um, oh, which one is this? X. Fourth, right. So this is going to be x to the fourth, over 4 times 3, and then now we know what the pattern is going to be. Okay? So the next one is going to be this one. So it will be x to the 7th over 7 times 6 times 4 times 3. And then the next one is going to be uh, to the 10th. So it will be x to the 10th over, now it's going to be 10 times 9 times 7 times 6 times 4 times 3. And it keeps going on like that. And that is that is the solution. That's why. Have a great day.